Hello. So today I just wanted to quickly show you all how to make an APA 7 style table within Google Docs. I'm going to come over to um, our Jamovi frequency table that we want to make an APA 7 table out of. We're going to right click and press copy. And now we're going to head over to um, our Google Sheets document and we're going to press Command V or Control V to paste that table. The next thing that we'll do is delete the unnecessary columns, the ones that are blank and don't have any information in them, and right click and press delete selected columns. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this, make the um, titles of each column unbolded. And let's go ahead and fix this title to be what the variable is. So it's um, easier to understand, and that would be its uh, marital status. And I can also put that up here. So it says frequencies of marital status rather than um, the variable that I named it. The next thing I'm going to do is fix this bottom borderline. So these lines are obviously thinner than this bottom line. And we can fix that by just selecting the row and then coming up to the borders option and just clicking the bottom border. That automatically fixes it. Typically, it's an issue with the um, thickness of the line here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add a note. So I'm just going to press Command I or select the italic option and write note. And I like to put the total N for the total sample size, um, which in this case is 2,346. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change results to say table one going to bold this. And then the titles of our table should be in italics, just like the, the titles of our um, APA 7 charts. The last thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and make sure everything's in the same font and size. So we're going to change it to Times New Roman, and we're going to change the font size to 12. Like looking at this table, notice how like the counts label is like offset from the actual counts themselves. So I'm going to fix that by just selecting these rows um, and columns and changing the um, alignment so that they're all horizontally aligned. I'm just going to make this right flushed, although where it was was totally acceptable as well. So now we're just going to go ahead and highlight our table. And I'm going to press Command C. And you know that you copied it because there's a dashed line now around this table. I'm going to head over to Google Docs and press Command V. Now it says link to spreadsheet or paste unlinked. Um, it doesn't really matter what you choose. Um, if you do plan to update the spreadsheet, then it is nice to have it auto synced, but you can paste unlinked as well. So now we have our table with all these little gray lines. So we can go ahead and um, start working on it to make it. APA 7 formatted. So the first thing I'm going to do is merge these bottom rows because I don't want my note to be in a single cell. I want it to be across this bottom row. To do that, we right click and we select merge cells. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is to highlight this whole table. I'm gonna go up here to this little, um, when we highlight a table or the rows, this little light gray box pops up with an arrow pointed down. So I go ahead and click it, and it gives me the border options. So we're going to select all borders and come over here to border width and select zero. So what this does is it removed all of the borders. So I said all of the borders that we have make them zero. So essentially remove the borders. It's a lot easier to remove the borders and then go back in and add the borders that you need than to only remove um, the specific ones since there are, were horizontal and vertical gray lines. So I'm going to go ahead and select this bottom row because I know that I want a bottom border here. And I'm going to select again that little gray box, select the bottom border, and change the line width back to one. And then I'll do that up here as well because I want a line underneath my column headers and above my column headers. So I'm going to click that little gray box, select the bottom border, increase the line width to one. And again, select this row, press
press the little box, press the top border, and increase the line width to one. Okay, and just like that, we have an APA7 formatted um, table. Thank you so much for watching.